Hey, YouTubers, Redneck Brian here. First off, I'd like to start, start off by saying this is not a cold start video. I am going to do a startup on the Honda, but it's not a cold start. It's like six degrees out here, so it's not cold out. I'm just wearing a very light coat. Just finished tarring in the new satellite and the uh, antenna. So, I have a question for anyone who may know. So, I am just ordered off eBay a set of gauges for this. Uh, a temp gauge, a oil pressure gauge, and a voltage gauge. The temp gauge, that's the only one I really have a question about. So I have an idea where the oil pressure gauge will hook up. Uh, there's a, apparently a spot just above the starter where I can hook the oil pressure gauge. So let's see if I can find it here. I've looked for it before. I believe that's it right back in there. Uh, you can't see much. It's dark out, getting dark out. But I heard it's just behind the uh, timing cover, which is right here. Actually, let me grab the light off my jumper pack. There we go. It's just above the timing cover, near down in this area right here. So it's somewhere in this area. This general area right around the starter. So I'm not worried about that one. But the, and obviously I'm not worried about the uh, voltmeter. And the one I'm worried about is the temp. I was told you can put one on these. But I'm wondering, is it possible just to drill and tap the, basically it'd be the thermostat housing. Even though I don't think there's a thermostat in there. Also, if anyone knows, do these things have a thermostat? Uh, is there a thermostat in there? Because that might be one of my uh, overheating issues that I'm having. So That's another reason why I'm putting an actual temp gauge on here. Not relying on the sensor that's already in here, which I don't even know if it works. Also, I was told you can attach it right to the rad. But I'd rather come right off the engine. I have a tap. Just drill, either drill and tap the front. Probably it'd be easiest. It's flat or the side here. But also, there's this little fitting right here, right here, basically. I'll put my finger on it. There's this little fitting right here, right there. So, sorry about the light. Anyways, there's this little fitting on top, right there. Uh, I'm wondering if I can actually take that out. I think it's a bleeder to bleed the cooling system. I'm not 100% sure. Or if I can put a just re drill that and put a temp sensor right there. Or if the temp sensor might even fit in there. That would actually be ideal. And then that's actually in the, in the part of the engine, not in the, the uh, rad, where the rad cap is attached to the engine. So. If anyone can help me out there, I, I prefer to put a sensor straight to the engine. Or if anyone knows where the existing sensor is on these. I was told it's in the rad, but my rad doesn't seem to have any wires connected to it. I, I've, I've had uh, the rad partially out before. It doesn't seem to have any wires on it. So, And I believe the video is on, uh, from Golf Cart tractor I believe he gave me the inspiration to do this so I believe it was him also that told me that you can uh, put the temp sensor on but it goes, I believe he said it goes to the rad which seems kind of silly why would you have it to the rad because the rad is the cooler spot the engine is what's getting hot because I don't even know if my temp sensor even works on this thing so I rather put a standalone on I'd rather put a standalone one on here and then do what he did on his one basically when the key comes on it does they obviously you'll get the voltage but that's it you won't um, turn my key off I have it on the jumper the battery's completely dead or it's cranking pretty slow so just gonna hook that for a second hmm, still got power Anyways, uh, basically when you flick this the little headlight switch, it'll turn on the lights. So let's see if it'll start now without the jumper. 
Let's move the jumper pack just in case it does start up. Let's hold it right here. I have negative still hooked up, but that won't do nothing. Nothing. Of course. Let's turn off the headlights, see if that will help. How about a fuel pump? Nothing. It wants a jumper. So let's reconnect the jumper pack. I wish this jumper pack was like the ones that um, on Lando's office they use. Basically, the ones that they have used don't even require a battery in the machine. I wish I could have found one like that, but I've looked, I've actually bought a few thinking it was like that, and they weren't, so. Let's see what happens with this. Uh, let's actually take it off choke, see if it will start without choke. Uh, about mid mid range throttle, no choke. Eh, jumper pack went orange. Red. Shut it off for a second. Now it's back to orange. And it should go back to green. Maybe not. This thing is a choke queen, basically. It will fire now. Shaking there was not me, it was actually the uh, camera and the engine shaking and the engine shut it down. Uh, let's shut it off. So, what I'm going to do for my gauges, unhook negative here for a second. It's pinched there. Let's leave it on here. I think it'll charge up that battery a little bit. So, anyways, my plan is I'm going to mount it. Yeah, grab the flashlight off the jumper again. I mount it right down in here, right here. But I will. I'm willing to screw into mine, and like cut the cuts and stuff like that, because I'm never getting rid of this thing. I'll have it till it dies. So even after after to say the rear end dies, I'll still have the engine. So I very seldomly get rid of tractors with engines. So unless I sell them, but so anyways. If anyone could help me out with that, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. So that's pretty much it. I hope everyone has a safe, safe, happy uh, New Year's Eve and have a happy New Year. Bye for now. Keep it redneck. See you in 2011.